Hey there, friends. Kevin here from the Core Progression Podcast, the podcast inspiring young rock and metal fans who discover new music and help them find a place they can connect and feel accepted. On today's reaction clip for the podcast, we're going back to our episode with Honey Revenge, and Devin talks about a brand new song that is going to be coming off their Retrovision album, which comes out on June 23rd. And I got to give you this right now. It is one fun little clip here because... She says something here that makes me laugh hysterically, and I'm going to use this term forever, but it speaks to just how over time, you know, things change for us. Things can change very quickly. Things can change rather slowly, but overall, it's just, you know, something we have to be open to. Before you watch the clip, though, make sure you hit that like button on the video. Make sure you hit subscribe over here as well to subscribe to the Corporate Crush Podcast to make sure you're staying in touch with everything we have going on here. And overall, just, you know, join in the family. You're accepted here. You're welcome here. Thanks for stopping by. And now let's get to it. And literally, like I'm so stubborn. Like there's a song on our record, favorite song, the one that's gonna be out by the time this drops. And I literally say, like I, I basically say that I don't believe in love. And it's so embarrassing because literally within like two months of writing that song, I met my boyfriend, and now I'm like the mayor of Simp City, and it's so <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> because it's like, hell, oh, what a couple of months could do, like let alone a couple of years, like. Truly, like you're cracking up, but it's I like the whole song is like, I don't believe in love, like this is stupid, and here I am, like a whole ass girlfriend, wifey, like it's so bad, it's so like I can't stop laughing about it because I'm gonna have to sing that for so many people and then go off stage and be like, hi babe, hope you're having a good night, you know what I mean? Like I can't believe it. Oh my God. Okay. First things first. The reason why I kept laughing throughout that whole entire thing was because when she said that she's the mayor of Simp City, I could not hold it together. That is one of the funniest lines I think I've ever heard in the podcast. I absolutely love it. But when she was talking about the song, favorite song and how, you know, she wrote it from a perception of maybe where she felt scorn and, you know, never going to find love, always going to be on her own. And then literally within two months, she meets her boyfriend opportunity presents itself ends up taking it see where it goes and now with this song coming out it is like a time capsule of what she was feeling at that moment and at times many of us have felt like we'll never find love many of us have felt like that love is always going to evade us and we're going to be alone forever i, I still feel that way at times too so i totally understand why she would make that song but it's just funny to think about how she's going to be singing that song for so many people and she knows the place that it came from but at the present moment, she's going to be singing it and she's going to have a boyfriend that she loves and is going to have to go off stage after, you know, performing this emotionally powerful song that she wrote about feeling like she's never going to find love, about how no one's ever going to connect with her in that realm. Go off stage and then text her boyfriend like, I babe, I hope you're having a great day. It, it's just kind of cool to see, you know, music is, uh, music is such a great time capsule. And I will always say that quote, I have no idea who it came from, but it is music or art decorates space but music decorates time and that song is going to decorate time for her to remember what it was like to feel like that at that point in time though her life might be in a completely different space we look at music like that all the time think about some of your favorite songs and why you like them is because they paint a picture of a time or an event that you really connect with positively or negatively and can really relate to it. Myself, I take a look at Savior by Rise Against. That's my favorite song of all time. Of course, when it came out, I absolutely loved it. I loved listening to it. And then in 2016, when I went to go see him play at Summerfest and I met this girl there and we hit it off, you know, now the song had this extra meaning to it. But when we broke up a year later, now it had a different meaning to it because a lot of my thoughts with that song end up relating to her so it was like you know now i really didn't want to listen to it however when i got to take a listen to it live the next time i think it was september of 2017 i finally got to take that song back because now i had a positive memory behind it as well so it's really about generating those positive moments and remembering that it decorates that time to give you the positive or negative and again when it comes to favorite song devin's gonna always look at the feeling of being scorned by love but now that she's, you know, has a boyfriend and is just it, happy as all hell with that, it, it, it's going to be somewhere she can sing and still connect with the audience, even though she's not in that headspace, because 
art decorates space, music decorates time. I want to thank Devin for opening up about that and, again, giving me one of the funniest lines I've ever heard on the podcast, the mayor of Sim City. If you want to check out the full podcast of Devin from Honey Revenge, hit the link in the description below where it says watch the full video online. It'll be right on YouTube for you. Make sure also, if you want to check out the audio streams for the podcast, links in the podcast or links in this episode description below for Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and Amazon. Also, make sure you're hitting that like button to help us out. You know, push the video positively in the algorithm. Make sure more people see it, more people find out about the podcast, and more people find out about this great community that we have. And if you're already a part of that community by hitting that subscribe button, thank you. If you're not, hit that subscribe button down below. Become part of our community. You're always welcome here. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you check out more from Honey Revenge. This is Kevin. I'm out.